Hey, Alm. Gavin here. <sighs> Might have to apologize. I just came out to the shed. About six or eight inches of new snow on the ground outside. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. Uh, so I got the heater going. Hope it's not distracting. Uh, I have to sit here bundled up until my, until my shed warms up. And yes, this is the shed. One of the little Amish barn things with a roll-up door behind me. And I got my laser lab and all that stuff set up in here. Man cave. Just my little shop. Uh, Going to smoke a Asylum 13. What is this? This is an Oblongata today. And uh, it's been a little abused. Kind of dried out a little bit. Been in my van, not in a humidor. For the last few days. So it's actually starting to dry out. That's alright. We'll work with it. And, uh... Let's see. Got some, uh... Bush mills down here I think we're going to put in the cup today. Actually using the clipper. This is a box press. Square. Rectangle. And let's see what we got down here. Let's do this. This is Bush Mills Black Bush. Irish whiskey. Break the seal. It's a screw top. No cork. Been putting some more shelves in the shed here. Running out of shelf space for my books and my whiskey. Uh, a little aggravated. Been uh, the last couple of months in my email. I've been getting tons of crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know how moveon.org got my email address. If one of you did it as a joke, good. Good. You get points. However, if I find out who it was, we're going to arrange a little rally of some sort. I don't know. Maybe something funny. A furry convention at your house. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've, I've discussed this before. Uh, I'm not de destined for YouTube greatness because uh, I don't have a perky enough personality or perky enough boobs. I'll try to work on the personality thing. Probably not. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, back to my email. Uh, these guys, number one, I don't know how moveon.org thought that they would want to send me stuff. But they're the farthest thing from what I agree with that could possibly be, really. Uh... In a way, I'm kind of glad that I started getting uh, because it confirms just how rude and insulting these people are. Uh, every email is about white supremacy and the Republicans being evil and that, uh, this and all, all, all that kind of stuff. And it's just blatant nonsense. But the way it's presented, it's like a bunch of four-year-olds out, out on the playground going, Oh, yeah! Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Of course, the flip side of the coin is not really any better in the emails I've been getting. I've been getting tons and tons of emails letting me know that uh, my NRCC membership has expired. Never had an NRCC membership. Don't know what that's about. So I don't know how it expired, or how it was about to expire, because like I said, I've never had one. But these emails are getting ridiculous, because I get three or four a day supposedly from different people sending them telling me they're counting on me and they're disappointed I haven't haven't renewed my membership and this that, 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 that. 
and we told you this was gonna be the last chance, but we extended it another 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Stop emailing me nonsense. It doesn't do you any good to block the emails. I put them on my block list, and 14 different ones show up from a, from different email addresses. Now I know how easy it is to just register a domain and get a get a server at get a email suffix that goes with that. So they just copy the list back and forth and just register a domain and keep using the same servers over and over again. I know how they're doing it. Simplified version. But it doesn't do you any good to block the stuff. I block the stuff for move on. I block the stuff from the NRCC. I blocked all, all, all the stuff. Every time I get a new email, email, I take that email address and throw it in, throw it in my block email, email address. The, not the, uh, not the email address itself, but generic, you know, the wild card at domain you know, kind of thing. We still keep getting them. Still can't stop it. <sighs> Anyway, a uh, little annoyed today. This all started out me checking all my email stuff. Email stuff. I've got email accounts that I use and that I don't use, but I keep in case I need to go back to them. And uh, the email address I use for uh, business purposes is, is different from my personal one and different from my the Salty Dog Outdoors one. And... Uh, I've been getting these emails, not for me, but for someone I know uh, about tax documents, and I keep getting them, and I keep and I I reply back and explain this is not his email address. Can't help you. Uh, I'll pass the word on, but you need to contact him. I keep getting them. Now they're now now, now these clowns are wanting to dig into dig into my business stuff. Because they want a document from somebody else. Well, well, do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Okay, it's none of your damn business what I've got and what I don't have. Because this has nothing to do with my business. That, come, that goes back to all that phoning it in kind of stuff. Well, you know, we're not really interested enough to uh, actually contact the person that we want to contact. So we'll mess with you because we've got contact information from you. And we just assume... What the hell? You can handle it for us. Because we're lazy. Those of you who are on my Facebook page, my personal one, uh, you know that I announced earlier this year that I'm going to get rid of 25% of my stuff this year. I'm simplifying, getting ready, to, getting ready to be completely retired, completely done, completely done with all this stuff, and just do my own little thing. My own little thing. That's all I want to do. Uh... I want to work on the boat. I want to sail the boat around around the Great Loop. Uh, I want to drive around the United States. I've seen a lot of the world, but haven't seen a lot of the United States that I wanted to see. And definitely not on the terms that I wanted to see it while I was in the military. Uh, so I've got this uh, plan of driving the entire lower 48. Uh, I've got the plans of getting the boat ready to go and doing the, doing the uh, entire Great Loop. And uh, I'll be perfectly honest with you, by the time I get all that stuff done, I probably will have expired by then. Makes my son mad when I say I'm reaching, uh, what do you do, I'm wait, waiting for my expiration date? Makes him mad when I, when I say that. Makes a couple of my sons mad when I say that. Anyway, it's true, that's all, we all, that's all we're all doing, is just waiting for our expiration date. It's what we kind of do between ma manufacture date and, and, and expiration date. And our expiration date's a real expiration date, not the one not like your ones you get on, on, on products. That's the buy more date on there. Ah, but I told everybody I was going to get rid of 25% of the stuff that I do this year. Now, the first couple of things are, are, are on this late to happen. So basically, I was never a member of the NRCC, so I can't really count that as I got rid of that. Uh, but memberships are going to expire. Certification is going to expire, and I'm just going to let them stay 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 expired. I don't care anymore. 
Uh, uh, I haven't taught uh, an NRA class as an instructor for, God, I don't know how long. It's been a long, long time. So, I pay for insurance for that. I pay for my, I pay for my instructor uh, certification. I pay dues to, to remain a to remain an instructor and go stand and all that stuff. That's all gonna go. Um, a local conservation club membership. Think about think about all the stuff. Think about all the money we waste on memberships and things like that for stuff we don't do. I've had a YMCA membership for probably ten years. I've been in the YMCA probably three or four times. We got a family membership so my kids could go there, use the weight room, use the pool, do all that kind of stuff. I'm still paying that stuff. Ridiculous. I'm not. I'm never gonna set foot in that YMCA again. Probably never. So that's got to go. Conservation club. I. I actually used to go to the meetings, so I was there once a month. But I didn't go back in the back and fish. I didn't go. I didn't use the woods. I didn't do all, do all this kind of stuff. Uh, I used to take scouts out there every once in a while. Uh, but I gave up scouts, so got to get rid of that. All this money we waste on nonsense that we're never going to use again, just in case. Just in case, I might want to go to the conservation club. I might want to go go walk around the lake. Why would I do that? The conservation club's eight miles away. The, the there's the Glendale Fish and Wildlife area is four miles away. That's thousands of acres. I can just go there. Uh, free. Well, it's not free. I pay taxes. Oh, my God. So what I'm encouraging you all to do today is look at all your memberships and things you pay for and all that kind of stuff. And get rid of that nonsense. Simplify your life. Uh, and on that note, we have a problem as humans of being confused by needs and wants. Almost everything that we do whoop, bump my tripod with my coffee cup. Well, my whiskey cup, I guess. Um, we confuse needs and wants. Uh, wants are just about everything that we have in our life. They're not needs. Uh, there are only three things that you really need to provide for yourself. That's food, water, and some form of shelter. That's all you need. Okay, all, this re all the rest of the stuff is wants. Uh, humans existed for thousands of years with all, all this other crap that we clutter our lives with. Uh, this is kind of light, leading into some stuff conversations I've had about saving the planet and all this other nonsense. Capitalists are bad. We'll stop buying stuff. There wouldn't be any capitalism if you weren't buying stuff. Oh my god. So I guess what I'm trying to say is simplify things. Stop worrying about all this other crap. Uh... We don't need the latest and latest and greatest gear all the time. We don't need the latest and greatest technology all the time. Uh, we confuse those things as needs, and they're not needs. Here's a need. You're going to die without it. Plain and simple. You're going to die without it. Not like you feel you're going to die. Take a teenager's phone away from them. Oh, my God. They're not going to die. They think they're going to. So evaluate what you got going on in your life and unhook from all the unnecessary stuff and all the stuff that causes you grief. And that can be a lot of things. Uh, I've got insurance on one, two, three, four, five, seven different vehicles. Seven. I drive two. The wife drives one. I drive my truck and I drive my van. She drives the 
her Jeep. I got two other Jeeps sitting out there in the yard. Three other Jeeps sitting out there in the yard. Uh... So. Yeah. That's about all I got to say today. You guys need to evaluate what's going on. It, hey, if you think you can't do without all of the wants, that's fine. But uh, I see a lot of complaining going on about clutter. It's basically just clutter. So it could be mental clutter. It can be emotional clutter, which is what a lot of these folks are, are suffering from. You need to learn you're not going to die. Nothing's going to happen. Uh, and if you think something's going to happen, maybe you ought to evaluate whether it's really going to happen or not. Don't let those things rule your life. All right, I'm going to get out of here and finish warming up my shed. Got a couple projects I got to do. Y'all have a good day. Hope to see y'all in the woods. Uh, actual class will start at the, start at the uh, end of this month. If we have enough sign-ups to do the winter class. People ask for winter classes, but they don't sign up for them after we put them on there. So, see y'all in the woods. Thanks for your views. Thanks for your support. Click like and subscribe. And notifications if you want them. But if you've got the app, it'll notify you automatically to whoever you subscribe to. Don't have to worry about email notifications. Talk to you later. Bye.